Welcome to Geico's 15 minute Sonic the Hedgehog speed run challenge. What's up everybody? Today I am joined by world renowned speed runner, Spike Vegeta, thanks to our friends over at Games Done Quick, who's going to be educating us in the ways of speed running Sonic the Hedgehog, which I believe is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. Yeah, 1991. That means we're about to play a 30 year old video game. Oh my goodness. Give us a little rundown of just sort of the, I would say the the theory, the strategy when it comes to speed running Sonic. The first thing that you're really gonna wanna learn when you get into this is just shred everything else away, learn your pathing through it, learn the route that is most optimal to take, the path of least resistance. You want to be jumping more than just holding right. You're gonna be wanting to hold down more than holding right to go faster across the screen to the right. I know that sounds bizarre. We'll get into it when we start speed running it, but you'll start to find out, wow, I go a lot, lot faster when I start holding down instead. I feel like I'm somebody when I play a game, I tend to really be a completionist. Like I like to explore every single area. I like to get every single treasure, et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. And it's funny to me how well that actually translates to speed running. You know, we're here in the modern age where like anybody can like upload a YouTube video and it's gonna have, this is the exact path you wanna go. Back in 1991, the only way you found out these faster paths is you just did it. It was you and your friends <laughs> on the playground talking about, oh, I went up the top path and you're just seeing that in-game timer, the seconds just go down just little bits by bits. So yeah, a lot of like you're saying completionists into speed running is actually a really good way to go about it. The world record for Sonic the Hedgehog is under 15 minutes. Are we going to be able to achieve world record come under 15 minutes? I I'm not going to say it's never going to happen. I, <laughs> I would be quite shocked. Um, I myself actually self-taught myself to teach you at this point. Uh, but I can, real time, I was able to beat this in around 30 minutes. Anybody can get into speed running, just give yourself some time and you mm -hmm. can do it. I think you can as well, Emma. I don't know the last time that I played Sonic 1, so it should be interesting to see. Get a feel for the game, see where I'm at, and then uh, then we'll get into learning. Yeah, I'm about to say, show me, show me Green Hill Zone, the all classic right. that started <laughs> the it all. Classic Green Hill Zone. <laughs> all right, we're going oh, downhill. Uh -oh. We're getting some speed. Uh oh, come on! <laughs> oh no, I can't spin dash, right? <laughs> yeah, so this is this is definitely the hardest part about going yeah, through Sonic that's One. that's so funny. There we go. But now we're going real fast. We're going up the big. Oh, loop. we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Buzz sawing uh -oh. through the fish, taking him out. B getting his one shot, but it's go. not going to stop you from a very <laughs> solid 49 seconds. Yeah, time. not bad, not bad. Honestly, <laughs> what you're doing right now, I always <laughs> recommend to people to say, like, how do I get into speedrunning? Just first go play the game. Just play. This is this is a, uh, a spin dash would be helpful thing. Uh-oh, how do I get on there? Ah! Okay, this is this is clearly something I'm going to need to work on. So do you want me to throw out a small tip? Yeah, please. Just just run down the hill and hold right. Sonic okay. actually gains a lot of momentum just going down. Okay, if you just run downhill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you go oh, up the Oh, hey. Yep. So that's Dang, good. That, that was great. That is some base learning you're understanding about his physics. Oh, no. And this was an absolutely terrifying part for all of You got it first try. You are a legend. I just want you yeah. to know that. That is where every child died back there. Yes. Was falling in between the spikes. All right. Nice. I mean, it's yeah. like already two levels down, no deaths. Now here's the hardest part about Sonic 1. Some yeah. of the Sonic teams, they were like, this is too hard. They gave players more continues, more lives. Yeah. Lives. In these games, if you look down in the bottom left corner, she has three lives. And, oh, there's no and life. I just died. No <laughs> life. Yeah, there goes one of them. There goes a third of your life. And if you game over, it's back to the start of the whole thing. Oh my God. Wow, that was rough. I think I might need to go back and get some rings. <laughs> well, you know, okay, I tried. <laughs> so, so this is perfect. And I want you to put in this, and it's a cheat code, but you want to use it in speed running. On the top screen, tap up, down, left, right, then hold square and press start. So now you can go to any level you want, and this is going to be your number one way to practice yes. this. Now that you went through the first few levels, yeah. I want to just explain to you some of the very basic tech that in some of your 
you know, the ways you're going to go through this. I want you to go to the Spring Yard Zone Stage 2. Spring Yard Zone Stage 2. Okay. So I told okay. you about holding right. Right. Is actually not as powerful as holding down. Okay. So I want you to walk back into that right spring, and when uh -huh. you come out of it, just hold right. Okay. Okay, so do you see okay. how Sonic almost Whoa. did a little jittery motion? So you yes. can now rewind back to, to the at beginning. the beginning of the stage. Some people might be watching, thinking to themselves like, oh, well, isn't this effectively cheating? All speedrunners wish that their speed game had this feat. Say, okay, I need to learn this jump. I'm right. going to do this, rewind, do this, rewind, yeah. and do it over and over again until I know what I'm doing. This okay. is perfect. Every game just should have this. So now that you did that, yeah. I want you to instead go into the back spring. Mm -hmm. Hold down Okay. Okay. Oh. So you saw that actually put him in his little yeah. ball. Yeah. In a lot of instances, when you start going downhill, if mm -hmm. you hold down instead, you are just going to go absolutely flying across the screen, and you'll be utilizing that a lot. You can see going a lot further, a lot faster with that. So now that we're in this spot, this is the last mm -hmm. thing I want to teach you about just mm -hmm. kind of the basic tech. So you can see it right there. Going up slopes, you found out earlier, it sucks. It it's sucks. Really, really sucks. So Ugh. I want you to jump right as you're about to start going uphill. Okay. So right at kind of the base of the hill. Yeah, and let yourself go even deeper. So like you can see the little, there's a little pole in the background that you just mm -hmm. passed. Right little past pole. that. Oh, do right a past that little pole. Okay. So jump like right there. Yeah. Whoop. And you can see that cuts out the entirety of going yeah. up the slope. It might seem pretty mundane what I just taught you, but slope jumps are it's very the most important. precise thing about this game. Oh, there's one other thing I do want to teach you. So if you just hold right, look how Sonic has to kind of begin yeah. running yeah, before he's his, gotta... his start he's got to like jog into gaining his speed now instead of doing that you're mm -hmm. gonna do this at the start of like almost every single level okay jump and hold right and start going oh so you'll see immediately he yeah. picks that up a lot more so the jump puts you it effectively puts you at that kind of intended speed oh, cool. cap right there yeah oh so, yeah but yeah, uh, as for Sonic. that, I've given you most of the main tools. Okay, cool, Obviously, cool. you're going to use that level select a lot. Again, up, down, left, right. Yep. Hold square and press start. You're going to be rewinding a lot with L2. Yeah. And uh, jumping is the good at the beginning of every level. Holding down is good, but right is still good when we want to control that speed. So Cool, cool. With that, there you go. There's, there's the tools you need to get Those started. Those are the tools that I need to get started. We might not be able to get a world record in that under 15 minutes time. But you know what? You out there, you can save 15% or more in under 15 minutes with GEICO. Be sure to check back next week for another 15-minute Sonic Speedrun Challenge presented by GEICO. GEICO, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance.